when the young man heard this, he went away sorrowful. It sounds like impossible that a person meets Jesus and go away sorrowful. People had personal encounters with Jesus, were transformed and ended up with a joyous, happy life. The Gospel, according to St. John 3, 1-13, tells us of a prominent religious leader by the name Nicodemus. He went to see Jesus by night because he was afraid of his fellow Jewish men. For many reasons, people still do that. Afraid to confess Jesus openly. Fear is killing. Nevertheless, at the crucifixion, Nicodemus, joined by Joseph of Arimathea, went and sought the body of Jesus. The cross was a turning point, made him to confess his following of Jesus. His joy was complete. The book of Acts, chapter 8, 26 to 40, tells of another man, came from a far distant land to the feast in Jerusalem. He bought a copy of the book of the prophet Isaiah and was reading while on his way back home. Then God's Holy Spirit led the evangelist Philip to go and accompany him. The man was a finance minister of the Queen of Ethiopia. He was a eunuch of a high position and lacked nothing in materials, but was a spiritual seeker. Philip led him to understand Jesus and baptized him according to his faith in Jesus Christ. Apparently, the minister's encounter was beyond the meeting of Philip. It was an encounter with Jesus himself. The result was great. We read the following. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch did not see him anymore but went in his way rejoicing. That was a great result. As for our young man, we read the following. Now someone came up to him and said, Teacher, what good things must I do to gain eternal life? He said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. Which ones? He asked. Jesus replied, Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not give false testimony, honor your father and mother, and love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, I have wholeheartedly obeyed all these laws. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But when the young man heard this, he went away sorrowful, because he was very rich. From life experience, observation and biblical teaching. Money can be a blessing when it is employed in a good way. The young man had his heart on his money. In other words, he did not own the money, but he was owned by it. He had a unique life opportunity as he met with Jesus, but he left sad and sorrowful. Friends, may God help us all to be in a good control of what we have and spend it in the best possible way. Be blessed and enjoy the week.